guys it's your girl paris monet and i am back with another video today so today basically i am going to get my clearance and of course i'm bringing y'all along and i'm also gonna go over like um what's required to, for the clearance from my doctor specifically which i'll get into all that um later but right now i'm just relaxing it's about what time is it 808 and um my clearance appointment's at 9 30 so i'm just relaxing for a little bit then we're gonna get up get in the shower get dressed and then head out to that clearance appointment um yeah i will see y'all in a little bit okay guys so i am at my doctor's office i am checked in and waiting to get called back for my clearance so so i'm in the back i just got my blood pressure taken my vitals all that good stuff Blood pressure sitting good at a uh, what you say one sixteen over sixty one or something like that. I forgot, and as you can see, I forgot to pop on my lashes this morning too, looking real crazy. But yeah, so I'm just waiting for the doctor to come in to give me my complete and full clearance, and yeah, then I'll be on the way. Ew, 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 ew. Okay, so I am home. I got the clearance. Woo, 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 woo. I got the clearance. 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 Now let me stop. But yeah, so they're gonna fax everything over to Body Aesthetic Center. And once he puts everything together, she's going to email it to me as well so that I can upload it in the portal so that there's no if, ands, or buts if they got it. And yeah, so I'm just waiting to hear back from Body Aesthetics now. Okay, guys, so I finally got a chance to sit down and get back with y'all and kind of like let y'all know how today really went in more detail. Like I said, I want y'all to know everything that's going down to the T, so that's what i'm here to do now you guys may see some cuts within the video and that is only because i'm at work so obviously when a call comes in i will be turning off my camera <laughs> but um but yeah so um today i had my as y'all already know i had my clearance and everything went great and i just want to show you guys basically or tell you guys, I should say, um, and if you see me looking down, that's because I'm looking at the paperwork. Um, but I just want to tell you guys basically what my um, uh, doctor, my surgical doctor office required for me to be cleared from my primary care doctor. Good now, morning, one second. <sighs> That was pertaining to a situation I just had. But anyway, so basically when you're getting um, any kind of cosmetic procedure, whether it just be lipo, lipo 360, whatever the case, you will need a medical clearance from your PCP. For all that do not know what a PCP is, it's a primary care provider, which means that is your regular doctor that you get your physicals from, things like that. Your PCP is basically the person you go to for your physicals, uh, you know, if you got an issue, whatever, that kind of thing. So your PCP is the one who will uh, uh, clear you for your cosmetic surgery now i will say it's okay if you don't have a pcp like don't panic you can still get cleared without a pcp now my mother she has a pcp as i know she's getting a lipo but her pcp was being very complicated which i kind of get into details of like the back and forth you'll have to go through to get your clearances but um her pcp was being a little complicated long story short they scheduled her clearance appointment. She showed, left work early to show up to her clearance appointment. Then when she got there, they told her what appointment. So it's like, yeah, scheduled me an appointment to not have me had an appointment scheduled. So she was just like, you know what, forget it. And then um, found an urgent care. It's actually Dr. G's urgent care, which I will put that down below. Um, that was able to give her her medical clearance. Now they do uh they don't accept insurance for medical clearance because it is an elective when you're doing a cosmetic procedure it's considered elective so um insurance will not cover it when you're going to like an urgent care uh facility 
So just keep keep that in mind. Um, she did pay, I believe it was one fifty five for the medical clearance, and um, she already had her EKG done and her X ray done, which they do require that at the urgent care. Um, no matter whether the cosmetic procedure facility requires it or not, they require it. So it's a good thing that she had it done already because instead of paying like almost $400, she ended up paying $155 just for the uh, clearance appointment. So just keep in mind that that is an option if you don't have a PCP that you could, you know, go to. Um, that's always an option. Like I said, if you cannot get in with your PCP or you don't have a PCP, you can always find a urgent care that does them. I mean, I will put the one she used down below. Now, for scheduling your appointment, I cannot stress this enough. Like, it doesn't matter if you feel like you're being a bother to the doc, your PCP, or whoever. Please, please, please schedule your pre-op appointment before your 30 days 99 percent of uh, cosmetic procedure facilities want you to have your clearance within 30 days they want your blood work within 30 days and they want your clearance within 30 days you know you don't want to wait until the last minute like i cannot stress this enough i called my doctor's office to make my pre-op appointment just to schedule my pre-op appointment literally like a month and a half before I could start getting it done. So like my surgery is May 24th. I can start, I well, I should have started having my blood work and my pre-op appointment within 30 days of that date, which would have been all, um, April 24th. But I was trying to schedule my appointment, obviously within, you know, the time frame. But I was calling trying to schedule this appointment like back in March and they were giving me the hardest time that I finally got in and... So I just say that to say, like, you really want to be on top of the ball. You want to make sure you, even if you're like three, four months out ahead, try and see if your doctor's office will schedule that pre-op appointment for you. Now, my doctor's office did not want to schedule my appointment, my pre-op appointment without having the medical clearance request, which I will put um, a copy of this in so you guys can see what it will look like. Or, you know, everyone's is probably a little different, every facility, but they would not schedule my pre-op appointment without this form. Now, the reason that was complicating my situation was because my doctor, he's barely ever here. So <laughs> I need, like his schedule was very small. They just changed their office hours, all kinds of stuff. So he really had limited ability. And they, the surgery, the surgery office, um, body aesthetics would not release, or I should say, they said they could not generate my um, medical clearance request until exactly 30 days before surgery. As you see, all it takes is a little bit of persistence because I obviously got that paper before, I got that paper generated before the 30 days and I was able to schedule my appointment. So, I mean, yes, like if they tell you one thing, you want to listen to them, but at the same time, like Come on, you know when to push buttons, y'all, and be persistent. Like, you want to be persistent. You want to be on top of things. Like, I was calling back and forth, back and forth. I'm like, okay, well, call my doctor's office. Okay, well, they said they can't generate it until 30 days before surgery. They saying they can't do nothing. Call body aesthetics. Okay, well, they saying they can't do nothing until y'all give me that paper. Calling them back, calling them back until what I needed was done. So, I say all that to say... You are your biggest advocate. Make sure you're advocating for yourself and you're getting things done. There are thousands of women at these facilities, whether you go to body aesthetics or wherever, that are getting these procedures. So these coordinators are dealing with multiple people at a time, at a day, you know, throughout the day. So, you know, they can forget, they can move slower, things can get, the wires can get crossed and you want to make sure that when it comes to you, that things are being handled accordingly and you know what's going on. So I cannot stress that enough to be on top of everything, no matter whether you feel like you're being a nuisance or not. Like I said, this, honestly, for me, like, I'm to the point where I'm ready to get, can definitely get, like, this whole pre-op process can definitely get overwhelming. So, my suggestion is just to take a deep breath and, you know, just try to keep a straight head and try to stay calm. Don't get attitudes with people because giving people attitudes is not going to get you what you want. Especially when you're annoying people calling them a thousand and one times a day, sending them a thousand emails a day. So, just keep that in mind. Now, on to the clearance. 
what um now this is just i'm gonna speak specifically for my doctor his facility because even at body aesthetics there's more than one doctor and each doctor has their own you know like pre-op and post-op instructions and like they use their own different like suggestion of fajas like so every surgeon is different you want to follow your surgeon suggestions this is just for examples guys i cannot stress this enough the, what i'm saying right now may or may not be the case for you if and when you decide to have surgery but this is specifically for my case uh with my doctor at body aesthetics my little dry okay so they required me to have now this is blood work i needed a cbc which is a complete blood count and for anyone who doesn't know a c uh cmp which is a complete metabolic panel a pt inr and a ptt um if i'm not mistaken that's to see um how quick your blood clots um a hcg hcg serum obviously you guys know that's a pregnancy test complete your analysis with reflex to culture and then they wanted an HIV test, which my doctor, when I went to my um, clearance appointment today, he was like, that's kind of weird that they wanted an HIV because when people are getting cosmetic sur surgeries, you know, some facilities, I guess, haven't asked him for that. So again, that just goes to show that every doctor is different. Some doctors will ask for certain things. Some doctors won't. Um, and that was it on the medical clearance form that they like generate for you and send to your doctor. Now, um, your doctor will need to complete this and send it back. Obviously, they want this form, the doctor's notes, physical, which a physical and your medical clearance are kind of intertwined. It's basically the same thing. The medical clearance is after they've done the quote unquote physical saying that you're cleared for surgery. Um, and as a side note, y'all don't mind my eyelashes because my regular eyelashes broke and these is like my clubbing eyelashes. I do not wear these wings to work but i got stuck wearing them today because i broke I, I fucked up my other one so yeah anyway <clears throat> so um yeah they're gonna want the medical notes and um the medical clearance slash physical and lab work sent over um now i do want to point out that bmis bmi is something to pay attention to uh you know before your surgery because a lot of doctors charge an additional fee for higher bmi so um at me my current stats today i was 152.4 according to them which i think they think was a little off because my scale says 150 but we're not gonna go there anyway according to them i'm 152.4 so that would make my bmi a 27.4 now my doctor specifically well our doctor specifically um his bmi is 31 I think, which the specifics from my doctor, um, I will be like going over all the pre-op instructions from my doctor for anyone that's interested in going to my doctor. <laughs> um, but that will be in a separate video. This video is primarily just about like what needs to be done for clearance and, you know, little pointers to think about. But um, yeah, so just keep that in mind with your BMI. Um, the higher BMI you are, you might be charged a fee, depending on where you go. Um, my doctor definitely charges a fee for higher BMI. And what else? Oh, you also have to, um, again, this is, I, be, I believe, subject to every facility. I don't know if every facility is still doing COVID tests, but my facility does require a COVID test um, within 14 days of the procedure. So you know how, like I just said, your pre-op um, clearance and your blood work has to be done within 30 days, but our facility requires our COVID test to be done within uh 14 days which is two weeks so um i just went to have my covid test done yesterday my mom is gonna go have hers done tomorrow um and i got my results back for that and sent that over that was negative as well so now i'm my mom already got through her clearance so woo woo to that pending um covid results and me i'm waiting to get my clearance she did respond and say you know she got the facts from the doctor um and then she sent me a questionnaire and i sent her um 
the COVID results. So because it's Friday, I probably won't get my like official tissue clearance from her until Monday. But um, she did respond and say everything is looking good. And um, we're just pending that uh, COVID test. But like I said, I sent that to her um, in my response email. So I'm almost positive that I'll be cleared. And then it's just a waiting game. Now, again, while I'm having this conversation with y'all, if you smoke um, cigarettes or vape with any kind of nicotine in it, I, I cannot stress this enough. You need to stop. You need to stop before surgery. That's one thing you don't want to play with. Um, and your surgery will get canceled. So please don't play with that. Um, yeah, you just don't want to play with that. You spend all this money, you know, to have surgery and then like to get canceled or rescheduled because you have nicotine in your system. You don't want to play those games. And if you smoke marijuana and you smoke with Fanta or smoke out of any kind of wrapping paper or uh, backwood, all that, you're going to have to be a dub. Either use bongs or smoke out of hemp paper, raw papers with no Fanta. Because you can't have no tobacco, nicotine, coconut in your system. So... Um, just want to throw that out there. And again, some, when it comes to marijuana, some doctors are more strict than others. My doctor happens not to be as strict, thank God, because, thank God. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm, we're, you know, I'm on the good side with that, but you definitely don't want to play any games when it comes to the nicotine guys. So just make sure you're stopping that. But yeah, so this video was primarily to show y'all, like, and explain to y'all, um, you know, show y'all my clearance day and basically let y'all know what y'all will need um, to get clearance from your PCP and how you should go about doing so. Um, I think I covered any everything that needs to be covered. If I missed anything or if you guys have any questions, please drop them down below. I will, you know, respond or either do another video. And if you're new here, thank you for tuning in to Paris Monet and joining the crew. If you're a returning subscriber, then thank you. Thank you for your continued support and your continued views. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And as I said, leave any questions y'all may have. And I will see y'all in the next video. I think the next video is going to be pre-op. Yeah, because right now, today, as of shooting this video, I'm 11 days out. My mom's 12 days away from surgery. So the next video will most likely be pre-op day when, we're go when I'm going for my surgery and my mom's pre-op day as well. Um when we're going to do all like our weight finish the last little bit of paperwork that kind of thing and that's when you guys will see our doctor no, i said that all backwards that's when y'all will see our bodies our before bodies there we go <laughs> so that's all for today y'all i will see y'all in the next video bye